everybody. It's Michelle. We're doing more napkin folding today. This is one that I think carries over perfectly from summer into fall. We're going to be doing a campfire napkin fold. For our campfire, we're going to need four napkins. This time I'm using the smaller size. These are the beverage size. I've got two in yellow, one in orange, and one in red. You're also going to need a plate for your table setting. I'm going to be using the clear again because I really want the napkin fold to be the prominent feature, not the plate. So I'm going to use the clear just so that kind of disappears for me. And I'm going to be using brown utensils. You can probably guess these are going to be our campfire logs. So we're just going to set those aside for now. And as a napkin ring, I'm going to be using a slap bracelet that uh, some of you may have worn in the 80s. These make perfect little napkin rings because they just curl right up to serve as your napkin ring. You can even use them sometimes if you need a double and fold it that way. So I like to use these and we're going to set that aside too. We won't be needing that just yet. To start our napkin fold, we're going to be doing these kind of similar to the fold that we did in the fireworks napkin folding video, but just a little bit different. On those, we had our napkins in the diagonal direction like a diamond, but for the campfire, we're going to open these up. And we're going to be folding them in a triangle. And we'll go ahead and do that with all of our napkins. Okay, now we could start layering, and the reason I wanted to wait for the layering until after we had all of our napkins folded is I want to stagger them just a little because I want our campfire flames to get taller in the center of our fire. So next we'll bring in our red, and we're going to open it and kind of slide our yellow down inside of there. So we've got about a half inch or so of a border. And then we're going to come with our orange next and do the same thing. second yellow. You don't have to do as many colors as I'm doing here. You could just do red and orange or whatever you think looks like your campfire colors. Whatever you're happy with. Okay, once we get those all layered with just about a half inch stagger on each color, then we're going to turn it all sideways and we're going to do our accordion fold from this corner to the other corner like we did on our fireworks napkin folding. It's going to be a little more difficult with these staggered the way that they are. And the first thing we want to do is to get our center point. So we're going to fold that all in half. And get our crease in the center. 
and then we're going to accordion fold one half and then we'll flip it and do the other half. You can do kind of a large accordion fold here if you want, up to an inch even, because the fold is not going to remain. It's just going to give us a little bit of a pleat when we pull our flame layers out. Flip it and we'll accordion fold the other half. Make sure to try to keep those layers staggered as you go so that our flames will get taller in the middle. Fold on those tips. Okay, now that's our accordion fold. And now we're just going to pull these layers out just like we did on our fireworks. Be sure that you hold high up enough that you're holding that highest layer of napkins because you don't want to pull it out. So just hold on to that and pull out your flames. Okay, I'm going to turn it around to do the other side. those out as far as you like. Until it looks like fire to you. You can pull some to one side and some to another. Just adjust it around. Flames are not too particular about the direction they go, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. happy with it we're going to take this bottom edge and we're going to give it one fold just to kind of help hold that all together tuck that in if it wants to stick out on you there okay now we're going to bring in our slap bracelet as our napkin ring and we're just going to tuck that fold down into there. I used an orange one to kind of blend in with my fire colors. You could use an orange, yellow, red, or even a brown that might blend in with the logs a little later on. Okay, and there's your campfire napkin fold. And to get that set up, we're going to bring in our plate. I'm going to set that right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to bring it down a little lower so you all can see what I'm doing down here. Now 
Now we're just going to lay our utensils in a crisscross pattern like our fire logs would be. Starting first with our knife straight across and then we're going to crisscross the fork and spoon and there's your campfire napkin fold. I was looking at some that I had made in the fireworks design and came up with this idea for the fire so I hope you all like it. I'm trying to get a better angle where you all can see it a little better. Let's see. There we go. That's pretty good. Let me know if you all liked it. If you did, click share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a like over on Facebook. And follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.